Hello everybody and welcome to My Mahira Academia chapter number 361 review. This chapter is titled Abnormal Happenings. Now in the last chapter we had some events that went on. Um, the big three pretty much showed what they were made of, went to attack Shigaraki and um, sort of failed, sort of succeeded. Um, and then we got a moment with Bakugo pretty much. Showing that he is still invested in the fight. That he is planning to win it all. And um, that was really where that ended. Um, this time we start off during the Togata and um, Shigaraki fight. Um, but we don't start off with Toga and Shigaraki. Um, off inside of Shigaraki's mind. As we see Tinko in there. And um, he's like friends. As because last time, um, Lamillion had been like, you don't have any friends, do you? And, um, for a second we see, um, Shigaraki break out of the mold that All for One has cast him into. As he says, I do have friends. Because, like, Mimokun and Tomo said, you're really nice, Tin, and Moonlight's gonna walk for me. Did you know that? So, yeah. I've got friends, as he yells all of this, he's clearly not all for one anymore. He is clearly Shigaraki going like Shigaraki does. And, um, Mirio's like, sorry man, I didn't mean to hit a nerve, as, um, Shigaraki just goes out of control again. All for one takes back over and is just going through everything and is just wrecking everything. And during this, Togata thinks, that was sure reaction. Did I hit a nerve? touch on a delicate topic that I feel bad but more importantly his core body is way tougher than the hand tentacles there's no comparison I couldn't even scratch his skin so we might be in trouble here as um all for one sort of regains his composure finally and just thinks a fissure within this body was complete a perfect unification of Tomura Shigaraki and me or so I thought it seems like there's a component that hasn't quite meddled. Neither Tomura, nor All for One, Shimura. As we see um, Tenko being just taken over by all these hand tentacles in the inside world. As um, we see All for One being in Shigaraki's body being like, dragging this out, not ideal. As we see him start to run away and start to head towards Bakugo to fight. And um, we see Lamillion's like, hey, get back here as he f runs after him to try to ca catch him down. And Shigaraki says, why should I care about a pesky distraction? As um, Mirio's just like, ah, I thought I felt him hesitate back there. And um, he's thinking back, still thinking, Hado and Tamaki, you toured the opening act. That's when I make a debut and rank Baku out of there. And he keeps thinking, then Simon Touchable and getting close to his actual body and buy time. Still, we can't stall him unless there's a solid attack waiting for us. I'm buying time, that time for you, Tamaki. As we cut back to the future and um, Shigaraki's getting up to rare up for an attack as Genus is using all of his fibers to sort of try to save Bakugo, try to keep him safe while all of this is coming towards him. And Genus is saying... Do not foul, do not, do your worst, you foul abomination, as, um, all for one Shigaraki is like, don't push yourself too hard, you've eaten a direct hit, you're barely conscious, right? As he says, you people, as he comes around and Nedre throws some of her Nedre wave pikes at him, and they're just destroying everything, and, um, as he's thinking, as Shigaraki's thinking, this arena we constructed is a tomb to defeat you. He is thinking, you people built a tomb for yourselves. As he just goes through and harms Nedre, almost taking a chunk out of her body. And um, we sort of get like a Nedre flashback here. As we just see people thinking. Um, as we see what people thought of Nedre in the past. We get some dialogue that says, hey you. Since you've got that all-powerful quirk, it's like you look down on the rest of us. Whether or not I get curi curious enough to wind up about any people and driving them out, 
as we see um, Tamaki come up and ask Nedre, which hero are you a fan of? And um, we've got pretty much a moment, and um, we see that Toga and um, Tamaki ask her, which fan are you a hero of? And um, she, and Nedre thinks, I got to learn so much about you two here, as we see Tamaki and um, Lamillion just like, making a fuss about everything, like, going in a bush and doing some Mirio stuff, and, um, we see Nedre thinking, and now I'm all the stronger thanks of it, and she's thinking about Tamaki now, and she says, we know the true worth of his vast hybrid. Sure, it takes time to cook up properly, but Togeda and I know all about you, Tamaki, as, um, we flip over to the next page, and we see that Tamaki has created a crazy abomination with all of the things that he has eaten. And so some of the stuff we can see about it is like um, zebra, uh, dog, dragon fruit, um, spider, chestnuts, sea turtles, jackfruit, locust, red sea urchin. And finally, after all of this, I mean, it's a massive list of stuff. We see, um, plus Nedre Hado's energy. As we see Tamaki, or not Tamaki, but Nedre thinking, eating more things make your potential grow and grow. If, any can, if anything can land a meaningful hit on Shigaraki, it's got to be with the quirk that's the, of the upper class. It has to be you, Sun Eater. And that's where the chapter ends. Very short chapter, 11 pages. Cool two-page thread of Tamaki on it at the end, but, um... I've got a few things to say about this chapter. Um, just going back to the start, the whole thing with, um... Togeda hitting a nerve and, like, Hey, man, I didn't mean to mess with you. I found that a little funny, but... It's Mirio. Mirio's always been a very funny character of his whole thing with Night Ivy, and... The hero who doesn't smile or laugh is not a good hero, um... The whole all-for-one Shigaraki possession thing is just whatever you make of it at this point. It's, like, really, I don't care. I honestly don't know to even think about it at this point. Um, the whole Nedre backstory is being told in two page pages is just the stupidest thing ever, in my opinion. Like, make a bit more of something that's not just like, oh, man, Nedre was stuck up for a while, and then Tamaki and um, Mirio came together and um, met her, and... Whoa, she's changed so much. I understand it's built up to sort of show that um, they have faith in Tamaki. Being that Tamaki's got this massive arm cannon looking thing with all of this stuff coming together and Hado's energy being put into it. But just why? Why? I Did Sun Eater eat Hado's energy? Did it just get infused with it? What's going on here? I don't know, it's just, ah, these, I don't, I don't know what to make of this half the time. It's good, I think it's really cool, but why? Great, we got Nedre backstory. One of my favorite characters is getting trashed on. Oops. But that's all I gotta say about chapter. Um, not the best thing ever. Really not too good. I don't know what to say else than that. Um, yeah. Global Positive 231 out.